It's good. We're going to say Shalom. We're going to say all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to them apostles and elders. A great millstone. Shalom to all you Akim teaching the gospel like you're supposed to be doing. And uh, the brother over here is going to start off with a scripture. What you got? Came up, you know, he's asked like about the Israelite thing. He said, Do you believe the Israelite things? He said, he, said, uh, he don't know much to, to, he said, he don't he don't disbelieve, but he don't know enough to really believe. You know what I'm saying? That made me think of this scripture. All that faith right here. It's uh, Romans 10 and uh, 14. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And, uh, and how shall they hear, uh, it's like, how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? How shall they hear without a preacher? Or how shall they hear without a preacher? So that's what that's why you gotta come out here and do this work, man. Is how the, how how are they gonna learn? How are they gonna know the truth today? Nobody told them the truth, you know? Like we was just talking to this guy, he came up here. He didn't know what the hell was going on. I mean, he walked away anyway. But if we wasn't out out here, he wouldn't have learned nothing. You know what I mean? But you got a lot of guys, man, they're scared to go do the work. They're scared to go out in the streets and teach. Because you got a lot of guys that watch the videos. You know who you are. You watch all the videos. You've been learning. You know the scriptures. And you're not going out teaching. You know who you are. That's disgusting. So, that really is, though. You should go teach. Because if you really got faith, you're going to teach. You got more than that? How shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of truth and bring glad tidings of good things. And we bring glad tidings of good things. What's the glad tidings of good things we bring? We teaching that the kingdom of heaven's at hand. We teaching that America's about to be destroyed. That's glad tidings. That's the good news. We teaching all of our enemies they're gonna go into slavery. That's good news. Go ahead. They have not all obeyed the gospel, for Isaiah said, Lord, you have believed our report. But then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Yeah, faith comes by hearing. So they can't hear it if you ain't speaking it. So what the hell is y'all doing out there? Y'all people not teaching. What are y'all doing? They don't give a damn about the sheep, you know? What's that? You supposed to come out here bringing the sheep. Ain't no worse than a slob. Ooh, look at that script. You get you want to say something? Yeah, uh, these niggas, they, they just expect. It's like, it's like everybody's just gonna wake up out of nowhere or some shit. Like, you gotta do work. You can't just, just be on your on your ass. Because it says they come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So you gotta, you gotta, they, you gotta make these people hear it. The people? Uh, oh, go to my phone. So like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people don't, a lot of people don't even know, like, to look up. Uh, what is Yahweh Shai? They don't even know who Yahweh Shai is. So you got to get close and person right in front of their faces to tell them so they can hear it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, a lot of people, they just, on, they, like a lot of people, like me, when I first came to the camp, I wasn't looking for y'all. I mean, I was looking for truth, but I wasn't like specifically looking for y'all. I was going through something else. And then I seen y'all, and then I heard it, and that woke me up. Now, if y'all were being lazy bastards, and then I never would have heard y'all, then I would have never woke up. Would have never met you. Hey, he's a he's a good friend. Well, then I would have I would have lost that on a friend. See that? If I weren't worn out teaching, I would have never met him. See how that works? That's not that too. Cause like some people, they might do work, but they might just do videos. That's it. I I, didn't, I wasn't watching videos. Like I said, I saw, I seen them on the street. Now some brothers woke up watching videos, but some brothers woke up just walking down the street. So you gotta do more than just videos, and you gotta do more than just street videos. I mean, street uh, teaching. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, but I say, going back to Romans 10 and 18, but I say, have they not heard? They not heard. Oh, they not heard. Uh, yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth. Oh, and sound went into the, all the earth. All right, sounds are going through all the earth. How? We, first of all, we're on the streets teaching. You got brothers in every state teaching. You got brothers out with the United Kingdom. Been going hard for years, okay? In the UK over there teaching. 
brothers in Germany teaching. I mean, you name a nation on earth, they're over there teaching. Plus, we put the videos on the internet. So th th this word is going, going out throughout the whole earth. I got. I just did a word search on slothful, cause you know, you know what? A, you seen a sloth, right? The animal. Yes, how slow they are. They ain't gonna get nothing done. But you know, a lot of uh, people they know the truth, but then they they gonna teach it. They're not teaching, cause they're slothful. But I just did a word search on slothful. I'm gonna read some of these scriptures I found. <laughs> Ecclesiasticus 22 and 1. A slothful man is compared to a filthy stone, and everyone will hiss him out to his disgrace. Right? It goes uh, verse 2. A slothful man is compared to the filth of a dunghill. Every man that takes it up will shake his head. What's the filth of a dunghill? That's a pile of shit. So the Lord said, if you slothful, you're not doing his work, you're likened unto a pile of shit. A filthy dunghill. That's in the Bible. That really, there's nothing worse than knowing the truth and keeping it to yourself. That's a shameful thing right there. Uh, let's see what else we got. I know there's some more good ones. Did you got some? Yeah, Sirach 20, 30 says, Wisdom that is hid, treasures that is formed up, what profit is in the boat? Yeah, wi read that again, that's a good one. Wisdom that is hid, treasure that is hoarded up, what profit is in the boat? Yeah, wisdom that is hid and treasure that is hoarded up, I, that don't profit nobody nothing. What good is it if you're so wise and you have so much knowledge and you're not sharing it with people? You know? Because you got a lot of guys, they claim to know so goddamn much, but they're not out here teaching. Like, we have people come up here, they start an argument with us. Like, they so they know so much, but they're not teaching nobody. You know? So what good is their wisdom? It's just worthless. says... Better, uh, better is he that hideth his folly than a man that hideth his wisdom. Uh, that, yeah, that's a good one. Better is he that hideth, what does it say, hideth his folly than hideth his wisdom. A lot of y'all hide your wisdom. A lot of y'all know the truth. You know you Israelites, you know the name of the Most High, y'all know the truth and you're not teaching it. And then you got guys who know the truth, they watch all of our videos, they're not out teaching. You know who you are. If then they get on the YouTube comment board and talk shit about, oh, they didn't like what we taught that day. You know what I mean? Well, why don't you go teach? Show, show us how to do it. You know what I'm saying? People are always complaining. Talking about, oh, you need to do this better. You can reach more people if you say this and that. Why don't you go do it? You know what I mean? Show us how it's done. Since we're doing such a terrible job. said and done, you know? Right, that's a good point, because you can sit and watch, what do they call that, an uh, armchair quarterback? Like the Super Bowl was last night, you're going to have everybody critiquing the game, yeah. all the sports writers saying, oh, well, Mahomes played terrible and all this. Motherfucker, let me see you do it. Let's see how you do. Your boy played terrible, still won a Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? So, hey.
I've edited and downloaded. I had to. Oh, yeah. What you got? Sometimes people only watch the videos if we cussing somebody out. You know, uh, you know, <laughs> oh, we made a video last week talking about love your brother. I got no views. You know what I mean? Jake don't really care about learning, man, and teaching. He don't really care. I was about to uh, look up that word. Uh, I'm going to do a word search on murmur. Oh, murmuring ass Israelites. That's all y'all do is murmur and talk shit and run your mouth. That's why, yeah, that's why I was about to look for a murmur. I'm gonna just type in murmur. I know there's a bunch of, woo wee. Oh, what about this one? Philippians 2 and 14, do all things without murmurings and disputings. That's why they dispute everything we say. You know, here it is, people claim they agree with us. They still go murmur, talk shit, run them out. Oh, heard in scripture. First Corinthians 10 and 10. Neither murmur ye, as some of them also murmured and were destroyed of the destroyers. So y'all murmur, y'all know who y'all murmurers are on the comic boards. The Lord, you won't get destroyed by the destroyer. And the Most High is the destroyer. You know who you are. Yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> I ain't gonna say no names because you know who you are. Uh, I'm looking for another one. coming out here he stopped coming out with us because we didn't accept the name Jesus he wanted to call huh? well, it yeah, oh yeah Dang. and there's somebody else like that on the comic boards oh how, he's like oh how come you don't call everybody else by the Hebrew name because everybody get confused that's why the Lord he the most the Messiah he the most important so we're gonna call him by his Hebrew name David by his Hebrew name. You know what I mean? It's always something with y'all, man. It says, but now ye seek to kill me, a man that hath told you the truth. Oh yeah, that's how they pretty much got the spirit. They want to, they want to see us off the streets. They got evil in their hearts against us. It says, uh, which I've heard of God. This did not Abraham. He do the deeds of your father, then said they to him, We are not born of fornication. We have one father, either God, 
Like I'm trying to say to them, if God were your father, you would love me, for I proceeded forth and came from God, neither came I of myself, and he sent me. Why do you not understand my speech, even because you could not hear my word? Like I said, unreasonable men. These, these niggas claim to be in the truth. What's the fucking point? Like, what's, you know what I'm saying? They got. Nah, man, you got, because you got a whole lot of people that know they Israelites. Like, if you got on any uh, Christian video nowadays, if you got on any video, on any Christian video, there'll be a bunch of Israelites in the comment board saying, oh, Jesus is a so-called black man. Real Israelites are dark-skinned people. You know, there's people everywhere, you know, acting like they know something, but they're not out there teaching. Teaching on a comment board, that is not enough. Anybody can do that. Coming out here on the streets, this is that sacrifice. We come out, we pre when we get that, man. Just like that one, that, remember that example with the uh, niggas that uh, try to uh, execute the demons? They, 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 uh, they was like, uh, y'all don't try to know Pete Paul, I know. He said, Peter Paul, yeah. He said, them I know, but. Who are you? Demons told that to them niggas because they acting like they was a part of this. They try to go out there and do their little work. Demons jump on them. Well, right, that's a good point because you got to have guys who's fake as hell no go out teaching. You know? Yeah, so just, that's a good point too because just because you out here don't mean, that don't mean that you a man of the Lord either. But if you are a man of the Lord, you're going to do his work, man. Let me, I'm gonna show, I got this scripture. Uh, Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is a reasonable service. But how do you present yourself as a living sacrifice, though? By doing the work. Not by, you know, you know the scripture, but he's not doing the work. He quoted. I'm reading the scripture and then he says it along with me. Yeah, he's he's just walking down. He's not doing the work. We just talked about that. You gave an example. Yeah, it's an example. I think he knows so much, but he knows so little. If he knew so much, oh, I got a scripture memorized. If you knew so much, you would do the work. You would. You will listen, that scripture says, make your bodies a living sacrifice. You know what happened to the Apostle Paul? The Apostle Paul, he was, he got arrested. And he was locked up in a prison for teaching the Bible. Okay? And then eventually he got put to death by the Emperor Nero for teaching the gospel. Okay? He walked that walk and he talked that talk. Because he presented himself as a living sacrifice. He put in more work than everybody. And then he got put to death for it. But at the end of the day, he's going to get everlasting life. Just like all the apostles and disciples. They all presented themselves as a living sacrifice. But they was going out there doing the work. They didn't give a goddamn If anybody was in their way, they didn't care. They was going to do the work. They didn't care what nobody had to say. When none stopping them. That's the spirit you got me in. Like, ain't nobody gonna stop me from doing this work. I'm gonna I'm do it. You know, your family might get in the way, your wife might get in the way. You, you got, you got, you know, you can't let nothing get in your way, but you gotta do the work. Consistently. Not just one time. You got some guys, they just wanna, you know, they go out and teach you. They'll go out and teach it a couple times a year, you know? What good is that doing? You might as well just stay at home and wait for the missiles to kill you. You know what I mean? It's uh, John 66, 666. That's a terrible number. That's how I remember.
John Six? Oh, I know you're saying. But uh, I'm talking about this one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Luke 22 and 28. Ye are they which have continued with me in my temptation. Yeah, so I just want to get that point. Like he said, you are they that continue with me in my temptation. So the disciples, and you know, us too, we more willing to continue with the Lord. We can struggle with the Lord. Like you say, you know, we suffer with the Lord, we're going to reign with the Lord. We just come out here and teach him, and then somebody threatens us and go, we got to stop teaching. Like we're done. Now, Lord willing, we're going to continue this. Right, like that one day, dude pulled a gun out. Well, he didn't pull the gun out, but he was flashing it, acting like he was going to shoot us. We just stood there and took that shit, man. You know? It could have been a lot worse. He could have got put to death. You just don't know. That's all I think about every time people go out. You say your prayers, you know? Like, you know? The Lord, he could... We, we could get killed doing this work, man. It's like, you can't just be thinking, oh, I'm going to go out teaching and then I'm going to be done, then I got plans after teaching. <laughs> nah. That's why that's part of that being that living sacrifice. Came in by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they love not their lives unto death. Oh, they love not their lives unto the death. Why we hate our life. We hate this world. That's why we come out here. So we hate this world so much. We come out, we come out here and curse this world out. Praying that the Lord destroys this world. That's how you know people they really don't want the kingdom. If you really wanted the kingdom, you're gonna fight for it. Oh, give me that. Uh, What's that? Is that John 14? Is that John 14? This is my kingdom, my servants will fight. You know what it is? It's not 14. It's when he's talking to Pontius Pilate. That's later. That's like John 17 or 18 or something. John 18, 36. Y'all should answer, my kingdom is not of this world. Also, the Lord said his kingdom is not of this world. He's talking about this world. The, the Lord's kingdom has got nothing to do with this world. This world is wicked and evil. It's the kingdom of Satan. Go ahead. My kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight. Right, so if this was the Lord's kingdom, his servants would be fighting. There ain't nobody out here fighting for the, for, the, you know, for the Lord and his ways. People out here, they fighting for the ways of the devil. That's what they fighting. They fighting to hold on to the devil. You know what I mean? It's all, this whole society is all about breaking the commandments. Don't nobody follow the commandments of the Lord. Ain't nothing but a bunch of adulterers out here. Adulterers, thieves, liars. You know what I'm saying? Murderers, homosexuals, devil worshipers. People worshiping all kind of bugged out gods. Thinking they can do whatever they want to do. And that's why the Lord gonna destroy this place. <laughs> Though we can't talk about the thoughts. <laughs> that's all you see. Hey, what's that uh <laughs> singing that song? Everywhere I go, I see the same hoe. I got another one too. Uh, I just made me think of this. Matthew 19 and uh, this is Matthew 19 and 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? So Peter, he was a head disciple. He said he forsaken everything. He said the hell with this world. He followed the Lord. When the Lord first rolled up on Peter and his brother, they was fishing, they was working. And the Lord said, follow me, I'll make you fishers of men. And they automatically, they didn't think about it. They just threw their nets down, left the job, and they followed the Lord. So that's the spirit you got to be in. Say, the hell with this world. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to, you're supposed to follow the Lord. These are people, they lack faith. Their lack of faith is disturbing. 
And Yahweh said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which shall follow me in the regeneration, which is reincarnation, because reincarnation is in the Bible. Okay. That ye which follow me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And that proves what? You know, the Lord's only dealing with the Israelites. In the kingdom of heaven, there's going to be 12 thrones, which is, represents 12 tribes. Telling you what? In the kingdom of heaven, that's going to be Israelites sitting on them thrones. That's going to be us. Not no heathens. But look, and everyone that have forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. But many that are first shall be last and the last shall be first. Right, so whoever, you know, forsaking their family, they said to hell with everything. If you don't have to forsake your family, if they're not bucking up against the word, but if your family gets in the way of you doing the work, push them to the side. You know what I mean? Can't let nothing get in your way of doing the work. If your wife gets in the way of doing the work, looks like you don't have a wife no more. Yeah, kick that bitch to the curb. Can I help you? It is amazing, yes. These Edomite might run around free. That's more amazing. Pull the mouth on this Christian. See? But if we was out here speaking sweet, soft words, wearing a three-piece suit with a Rolex, all they listen to us then. You know what I mean? Fuck you, man. That's why these people are so easily deceived. Just like for years and years they had that uh, meteorologist on Channel 10. Oh, he's just the nicest guy in the world. Never cusses. Wears a nice suit. Oh, he's a child molester. He's he, he just got arrested for child pornography. You know what I mean? That's what that's what you can that's what you can expect from somebody who never cusses. If somebody never cusses, they dress nice. They they look so perfect. They're probably a child molester, a devil worshiper. The real men don't talk like little faggots, man. Real men talk. The Lord talk rough. That's why I hate these people, man. The Lord gonna put these people to death. He gonna get put to death just for that one little remark. You know what I mean? Who are they dealing with him? You got something? Uh, for that, that, that troglodyte. Abomination. That's the, yeah, that's the abomination. Uh, Romans 8 and 29 says, For whom did he for new, he also did predestinate to be Born today, if it's going to, like you said, nobody can stop you from doing this truth. It says, To be conformed to the image of the Son, that we might be the firstborn of those being brethren. Moreover, who he did predestinate, uh, them he also called, and who he called, them he also justified, and who he justified, them he also glorified. Uh, what shall we then say to these things? For if God be for us, who can be against us? that spared not his own son but delivering him for all from all for us all uh, for us all <laughs> it says shall he not with him also freely give us all things who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect and it's like that the niggas he try he trying to find a fault with us but it says who will charge anything against the Lord's elect we ain't did nothing wrong yeah he just walked by heard me say a cuss word like oh my god I said a cuss word these people out here are hypocrites, bro. They get mad at me because I said a cuss word. Get the fuck out of here. It's stupid. It really is stupid. It's like, you got a mindset of a child. It's childish. He really should get his ass beat for that. Like, but the Lord going to get him, though. Hey, everybody here, you know, even if it's a little kid, but everybody, you a grown ass man, you in there worried about another man cussing. That's how a little kid would do. Like, you cuss around a little kid. Like, oh, Okay. Okay. Stupid. 
Yeah. It looked like a child molester. God that justifies, who is he that condemneth? It is uh, the Messiah that died, gave rather that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also make it oh, so hold it. What did that just say? We gotta read that slowly. Did you, did, there's a lot of there's a lot of meat in that. Read that again. Who is he that condemneth? It is well, read that again. It said what? Who is he that condemneth? Who who is he that condemneth? Go ahead. It is the Messiah that died. It is the Messiah that died. The rather that is risen again, who is at the right hand of God. Also, make an intercession for us. It says, The real when people come against, they're not coming against us. They're coming against the Lord. Just like John 7, what was that, 7 and 7? I given them that word in the world that hated them. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, it's like a bump shot. Can you get that? Uh, the word is going against you. Isaiah. Yeah, 58. I like, I like the last part. It says, yeah. Like I said, nobody came. Uh, nobody came to condemn us. But the Messiah got for us. He's making intercession for us. Though. So they can't condemn us. We're blameless, bro. Because really, even if we do sin, which we try our best not to, we still blameless. So how y'all like that? That comes, you know, that's through faith. This is Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. Ooh, this is the... This is the heritage of the servants of Yahweh. And the righteousness is of me, saith Yahweh. <laughs> so it says, whoever... Uh, we'll read that. I gotta read this again said, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. That's talking about your weapons, your actual guns and knives. That's talking about your little propaganda, too. Like, you have people like bitch-ass vocab Malone. His weapons is his little garbage YouTube videos. This shit ain't, this shit trash, bro. Nothing y'all gonna do against us is gonna work. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of Yahweh, and their righteousness is of me, save Yahweh. So they're going to get mad at us for what we saying, but our righteousness is of the Lord. So y'all really just, y'all mad at the Most High. Take it up with him. He the, he the one that got us out here. How do you think we out here? The Most High is in control of everything. He controls every last little detail. And he got us out here teaching his his word. We're not out here because we chose to come out here. And that's another thing. We started a video saying, uh, how come guys ain't going out teaching? They know the truth, but they're not teaching. Because really the Lord ain't put the spirit on them to go teach them. Because at the end of the day, you ain't got a choice. The Lord is going to put his spirit on you or he ain't. That's why he said, you have chosen me. I excuse me, <laughs> said it backwards. You have not chosen me, I have chosen you. Who shall separate us from the love of the Messiah? Shall tribulation and distress and persecution? What did I say? Read that again. Who shall separate us from the love of the Messiah? Said, Who shall separate us from the love of the Messiah? Go ahead. Shall tribulation or distress? Persecution, famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword. As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors to him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor angels, uh, nor death nor life nor angels, nor, pres nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature, 
shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Yahushai, our Lord. That's a good scripture, man. He can't separate our love for the Lord. We're going to keep doing his work, regardless. Ain't that going to stop me? We can't be stopped. Is that when uh, the apostles got arrested? The angels busted them out? The very next day, they oh, went yeah. right back to the temple. They went right back out teaching. I'm going to tell you this, bro. I've been out here for what? I ain't been doing the work that long. We've been out here in Columbus teaching for like over 10 years, right? It's almost 11. We just had 10 last, we know, almost 11 years. 11 years here in Columbus. I'm gonna tell y'all what, I done seen a lot of haters come and a lot of haters go. Okay, all the scoffers and scorners from 2010, they ain't nowhere to be found. Even the, uh, the, the assholes, and scoffers and scorners from 2000, what, 13. They ain't nowhere to be found. You know what I'm saying? All the people that come against us, the scoff, they don't last long. They're going to, like vocab alone, he's going to burn out one day. Unless the most obvious uh, just destroys him. So all people can talk all the little bullshit they want. They gonna, the Lord going to quiet you down and we still going to be teaching. It ain't nothing y'all can do about it. You can't stop it. We're going to keep teaching. Hey, that's funny when you got scoffers falling out of the truth. They, they're not in the truth, you know what I mean? They're falling out, you know what I mean? You got scoffers falling out the scoffers. <laughs> Himself to be somebody to whom a number of men, about 400, joined themselves who were slain, and all as many as obeyed him were scattered and brought to naught. After this man rose up Judas of Galilee in the days of the tax, he drew away much people after him. He also perished, and all, even as many as obeyed him, were dispersed. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone, for if this counsel or this work be of man, it shall come to naught. But if it be of God, he shall be not overthrow it, it's happily you should be found even to fight against God. Right, you fight against us, you fight against the most high. All right. Read that last part, what did it say? Uh, uh, pray for these men and let them alone for this counsel or this work be of men which I come to not. If it be of God, you cannot overthrow it. It's happily you should be found even to fight against God. Right, so why are everybody so worried about us? If what we're doing is not of the most high, then you know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna work. But we still out here teaching. We've been out here teaching. We're gonna keep teaching. So that the most high got it. We gotta be the apostles. Who else is it? Who else is the prophets? It gotta be us. You see the other prophets out here? It's like, I don't see no more. We the only ones, bro. Out here in Columbus anyway. We got brothers all over the scatter throughout the whole earth teaching this word. Because actually, we're the prophets and apostles back in the reincarnation. We don't know who he was, but Isaiah is alive right now. Peter is alive right now. Okay, the John, all the apostles, all the prophets, you know what I mean? Everybody, all the prophets and apostles. They all back in the reincarnation doing the work. Daniel. Who was wiser than Daniel? Job. Joe. Oh, don't forget about who Job, bro. Job was the that was that's the servant of the Lord right there. Job want no punk. Job, boy, that's a faithful man. Hey, you all gotta learn from Job. Right, well, all the all the prophets, everybody, we all back in the reincarnation. Oh, go ahead. You got something else to say? Isaiah 54. And, uh, they shall surely gather together the 
not by who. Whosoever shall Whosoever oh. shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Yeah, whoever gonna come against us, they gonna fall. They gonna get smitten. The Lord gonna smite thee. Oh, that's a good one. What's another one? Uh, I'm trying to think of other scripture. Yeah, they kick it against a prick. Yeah, 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 grounded to powder. Man, it messed me up, man. I just had a scripture. Pass me. What was it? What scripture was that I about to get? Oh, I know it's one. Hey, that's a uh, Revelation two and twenty six. Hey, you should get that. I'm gonna get this real quick. John seventeen and uh, seven. Is that right? Seventeen, I mean. Ah, uh, that's not the one. I mean, this is the one. This is John seventeen and fourteen. I have given them that word, and the world hath hated them. Because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. So, the Bible says, and we, since we teaching the word, people gonna hate us. Now, the people hate pastor in the church. Don't nobody hate the pastor. They love him. You know what I'm saying? They, they, oh, that's a good. Like that asshole. I said a cuss word, and people automatically think I'm evil because I said a cuss word. I'll tell you how simple these people are. But they'll listen to pastor though. Pastor don't use cuss words. They ain't gonna teach him nothing. That's why they hate us, because we got the truth. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctified in tr through thy truth, thy word is truth. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. So the, I, we didn't send ourselves out here. The Lord sent us out here. Okay, that's why we out here. We are, we are the prophets, we are the apostles. Y'all supposed to be listening to us. Like Paul said, he said, be a follower as me as I am of Yahweh Shai. Uh, and for this sake, I sanctify myself that they also might be sanctified through thy truth. So that's why we are here to sanctify the elected Israel through the Lord's truth. And that's pretty much the point on that. We were sent out here by Yahweh Shai through his spirit. And that's why we out here. That's because the Lord is real. This is his program. And we actually out here with Bibles, bro. On the streets teaching. We really out here. Yeah, 2 and 26. Going back to the, uh, keeping the works into the end. So he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. So what's the works of the Lord? First and foremost, he commanded us to go wake up the lost sheep of the house of Israel. We're supposed to do his work. We're supposed to go teach the gospel. That's what, it, that's what you're supposed to be doing. If you're a man, okay, we, we out here for the men, not the woman, not the woman. We out here for men. And if you're a man, you're supposed to be doing the work of the Lord. We ain't trying to hear no excuses either. Hey, read that again. He that uh, overcometh and keepeth my works into the end, to him will I get power over the nations. To him that, to him that keepeth the works, to him, to him, the guy that kept the works, to him, well, he going to get power over the nations. Go ahead. And uh, he that overcometh and keep my works until the end, him, uh, I read that, uh, about the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as a vessel of a potter shall it be broken to servers, as, even as I received it my father. 
Right. So whoever keeps the works in the end, we're going to be, the Lord, he's going to put us on a high status in the kingdom. Just like that, we already read that Matthew 19. It says, whoever forsaken everything and, you know, follow the Lord in the kingdom, they're going to sit on 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. So that's part of that reward. But the Lord, he's going to reward us for doing this work. It is a re reward for not doing the work, too. You get it. You win a prize, too. <laughs> Sir. I mean, what prize you want to win? Hey, you don't get to choose, though. I'm just talking to whoever listening. What's that? What's that? Uh, nah, he thought I was talking to him. I'm talking to everybody. We are made partakers of the Messiah if we hold the beginning of our covenant steadfast to the end. He said, so really, like, like, like you said, he works to the end. The Lord did the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, uh, I quoted that scripture earlier. He suffered the Lord, he will reign with the Lord. And so you got to see how the Lord suffered. He suffered to the end. Remember when he was on the cross, on the cross of Gabar, he, he mentioned that a couple times. He said, the Lord said, it is finished. He said, yeah. so he, to work up to the very end. So we got to do the work to the very end. You know what I'm saying? And if you do that, it says you will be, uh, it says you are made partakers of the Messiah if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast into the end. And it feels good to do the work too. You get a, you get a sense of, sense of pride doing this work. And you know what I mean? To know we've forsaken everything. He said, fuck the world and praise the Lord. Yeah, that's a good feeling, man, to come out and condemn the wicked and to wake brothers up. But ain't everybody got that spirit to do that, what we do. That's something you got to realize. Ain't everybody got that spirit to do what we do. And the Lord didn't give everybody that spirit. He gave a lot of y'all to uh, turn y'all over to the, to the spirit of a, of a demon and a heathen. He, you know what I mean? What's the word? He gave y'all over to a reprobate mind. Two thirds of Israel got a reprobate mind. It just ain't no good. I was just thinking of another scripture. Too. That's the thing though, you get the vision. So that's why that's what I see right there. The Lord gave us that vision. So that's how we know the truth. We know all things. We know everything. People get mad when we say that. You can't know everything. We know everything. We know all things. What you guys know? Well, I, guess I, I ain't found it yet. Just uh, a little bit. Uh, of course, down in verse 8, we'll read up a little bit. Uh, first Peter, no, second Peter 1, and, uh, the Lord says, uh, Whereby are given unto us exceedingly great and precious promise, that by these you might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through us. Besides, besides this, give our diligence add to a faith virtue, to a virtue of knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patience godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness charity. For if these things be in you and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jehoshaphat and Mashiach. He that lacketh these things is blind, he cannot see it far off, and I forgot that he was purged from his own sins. Uh, what for the rather, brother, and give diligence to make your calling and election sure, but if you do these things, he shall never fall. Just like I said, all these different things, righteousness, uh, virtue, knowledge, temper, all these things got a bounding. If something is a bounding in you, it's, it's continual, you know what I'm saying? Or they stack it. They, they, they might adore for a little bit. 
stop. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you keep doing things continually, then you're, not, you're never going to stop. You're going to keep going until the very end. That's why, like I said, if you got no vision, that's why they ain't stop, because they got no vision. They blind, they can't see it far off. Yeah, the Lord, man, he ain't, he ain't give that vision to everybody, did he? Let me see, uh, I'm tripping, bro. I'm having trouble finding something. I'm just not used to this Bible. You know, some scriptures I can just look at my Bible. I don't know the exact number. I know it's in 14. I'm tripping, bro. I was, like, staring right at it. It's like all the way to the bottom of the page. Luke uh, 14 and uh, 25. And there went great multitudes with him, and he turned and said unto them, If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters and wicked ass sisters, they the worst. And sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. And whosoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. What is that talking about? What is that talking about? Somebody doing his work, bearing that cross, taking on that burden. You know, doing his work. It can be like a heavy burden, you know, at a time. Well, some of y'all. Because really, you know, the Lord said his burden is light. That's Matthew 11. All that he went through. But really, because doing his work is a burden. It's a cross. It's a great responsibility. And the Lord said, if you don't pick up your cross and follow him, you cannot be his disciple. Talking to men, not to women. I ain't going to be responsible for the woman. You know, the woman be listening to us. They be thinking, oh, I'm going to do it. I'm gonna do what y'all do. Uh, you always gotta let them know that we're here for men, not women. Let me read that again. If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, in his own life, he cannot be my disciple. And whosoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Oh, it's that scripture right here. Is that scripture for your boy James? Where you at, James? I don't see him nowhere. He ain't down there. He ain't down there. Where you go, James? Oh, Yaquab. He had a Hebrew name. He gave himself a Hebrew name, but he didn't want to call the Lord by his Hebrew name. Ain't that a bitch? Same thing. IUIC does the same shit. Demons. Yeah, this is a scripture I read to James. He fell out of truth before he got in it. <laughs> this is Luke 14. I wonder if he watched it. He gotta watch the videos. Okay, that's the thing when somebody fall out of truth or one in it or they scoff or whatever. They watch those are the people who watch all the videos. Luke 14 and uh, 28. For which of you, intending to build a tower, sitteth not down first and counteth the cost, whether he has sufficient to finish it? Lest happily, after he hath laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it begin to mock him. <laughs> That's a good one. That's another thing. You got to know what you're getting into, man. A lot of guys, they don't count the cost. They think that... They think, you know, going out teaching, doing what we do, that it's part of a club, part of a game. It's like a trend. You know, they, a lot of guys, they, they'll go teaching just because, you know, they thought it was cool. It was the trending, cool thing to do at the moment. That's what was hot. Then they fall the hell out of the truth. They didn't count the cost. They didn't realize it was a burden. They didn't realize all the hell they was going to catch. That's what happens. A lot of guys that start doing the work, 
to come out here teaching, they start catching all kind of hell. Their wife will leave them, family will leave them, they get fired, or whatever happened to them. And then they're like, oh, that's some bullshit. Oh, that Israelite shit ruined my life. I heard many guys say that. They was like, oh, I wasted 15 years of my life on that Israelite shit. You know what I mean? You a punk, man. You didn't count the cost. This is one of them, uh, <laughs> this is, this that blood covenant though. What's that old shit, the gangster shit, blood in, blood out? Bro, the one, once you stop uh, doing the work, that's it for you, you done. You know, the Lord gonna mess you up in a bad way. If you, if you start doing this work and then you stop, I feel sorry for you. You gonna get it worse than one of these heathens out here. Then you don't get it worse than the regular two thirds. You got a lot of guys that fall out of the truth. You see that every week. There's a new guy to fall out of the truth. Every once in a while, you gotta go check up. Yeah, you know, yeah. You see guys checked up on channels. Like, let me go check some channels to see who's still in the truth. I've been I've been doing it for like what 11 years now. Out here teaching. Known the truth a little longer than that. <laughs> then you just see faces come and faces go. It's only, you know what I mean? <laughs> only a few faces remain the same. <laughs> we all kind of people falling out. out there teaching maybe the cops or the rest of everybody this is too much i don't want none of that smoke no more i can't take it you know anything could happen they could come out the government could cause terrorists or whatever now you got people following the truth over the rape doctor the so-called rape doctor you know what i mean they get them people they get emotional over the scriptures they don't like certain breakdowns so to fall out of the truth just over one scripture break breakdown they had a problem with That's because y'all was, what does that say, sowed on stony ground? Y'all didn't want to plant it in that good soil. You didn't have that good foundation. Actually, my family does watch the videos. My sons, they love Elder so hard. They be, they be, they be cracking up. You know, how he be making a you no. Know, they'll say something, and they be cracking up. They know his name. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I do love my family. My family ain't raised like a bunch of punks. I don't raise my son up to be, my sons up to be uh, little little weaklings. You know what I'm saying? They don't get offended easily. Now, why would you want to raise up your family like that? Overly protective. It's a harsh, cruel world out here. You can't raise your children up to be fucking faggots. You gotta make them tough, son. I had, somebody told me that before, too. I had this video I made once on how to uh, spell the Lord's name in ancient Hebrew. It got all kind of views. It got deleted. I don't, I don't know where it's at now. But it's getting mass views, right? 
And there's this one guy I was trying to teach. He was like, I wish that you would redo all the videos you've ever done and just don't use cuss words because I'm going to watch the videos with my children. I didn't know what to say to him, bro. It's like, maybe you shouldn't watch the videos at all. I don't know. You get mad over some cuss words? That's just a weak spirit. Hey, that, the Lord used them cuss words, too, to sift people out. Man, that's a sifter. That's a stumbling block right there. You get offended over a cuss word. Fuck out of here, man. Kids already, they probably know some cuss words. You don't even fucking know. Little kid, I mean, come on, everybody was a kid. He was cussing. You never really cussed in front of your parents. But you cussing when your parents are not going. You cussing all in school. So it's too late. You motherfuckers already heard cuss words. Fuck, you know what I'm saying? That's a form of communication. We're using words, you know what the words mean, and they're effective words. Especially because we're not, we're, not, we're not here teaching scientists. And we're teaching our people. We gotta speak the same language they speak, which is vulgar English. They don't speak textbook English out here, okay? They can't even read a textbook. You gotta speak like they speak. Like that nigga Gordon, what's his name? Chef, nigga. Chef, oh, he go hard. Yeah. Now, was he a bad chef because he cusses? Like now, look at his results. He the boy. He go to a restaurant, bro. That'd be a shithole. He go perfect example. That's a beautiful example. He go, boy. That's one of my favorite shows too, man. I love watching some Chef Ramsay. Once you watch one episode, you can't stop. Man. You gotta watch the whole season. <laughs> bro, he go, he go up into that restaurant. They, they be. They about to go out of business and everything. He'll go in there and cuss everybody the fuck out. I seen him throw shit at people, call people, you're a fucking disgrace. You're a piece of shit. This place this smells like shit. You know what I mean? He cussing everybody out. And what does he get from it? He gets results. He gets results. He turned a pile of shit into a pile of gold. And that's what we doing. That's the philosopher's stone. You know how to turn something into gold? That's the... But that's the, we found a philosopher's stone. We can turn a pile of shit into a pile of gold. No, we speak in parables. That's true though, that, you're right. Man, that's the per, Chef Ramsey's the perfect example. Per, except for he be serving pork and shit. Most likely I'm getting for that. Hey, another thing, Chef Ramsey an Israelite, by the way. Yeah, Israelite. What other, Edomite ain't got no fiery spirit like that. You got something? That's a perfect example, man. Chef Ramsey, goddamn. Hey, a drill instructor. It's like a boot camp. You go to boot camp, and you, you need to be a well-disciplined force to be able to perform on a battlefield. You think your drill instructor going to be sweet and nice to you? No, oh, he's going to put his boot up your ass. He's going to fuck you up. He's going he gonna to try you through the fire. You know what I mean? He gonna cuss at you, he gonna call you all kind of names. I seen drone instructors, I was in the Marines. I seen drone instructors make people cry. <laughs> they made me, I thought this shit was funny. I always got in trouble because I laughed at everything he said. <laughs> they was like stand up comedians. But they get results from that shit. You don't get results from, from talking all these sweet soft words man you do not get any kind of results from that shit we about results we about work that's why that's why we're out here and you the scoffers you not that's why we're the ones teaching because we're the ones who was built for this you got something that's cool Saying no, 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 they ain't gonna have you, ain't gonna be killed. We'll call it Peter Satan. Yeah, he called his own, the head disciple. You gonna tell me the top disciple Satan, you know? No. But they tell you the Lord calling people names. He called, he called Judas and said, when you are the devil. Yeah, he called him the devil. So imagine using that term today, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, well, like, I don't know, like, hey, stop being a bitch or some shit, whatever. That's like, that's like, that's how offensive he was back in the day. The Lord did call people bitches a lot. He always called uh, dogs. 
called them dogs. What's that? That's a scripture in Revelation. Hor uh, whoremongers and dogs. Or something like that. Fox. Yeah, call them a fox, a snake. He used the word. I mean, we go into the cuss word. This cuss word's all in the Bible. These are they which are sown among the thorns, such as hear the word and the cares of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches, riches, and the lust of other things entering in choke the world, word, and they become it unfruitful. And the deceitfulness of riches. And that's another reason why a lot of guys they won't do the work. You know, to make money it takes time. So a lot of people would rather spend most of their time getting money, stacking paper, you know what I mean? Really, you're supposed to be spending most of your time doing this work. I, we know you gotta get a job and all that shit. But some, a lot of people, that's all they care about is getting money. And that money's deceiving. That shit will lead you right out of the truth, right into a missile. And the money make you soft. You know, I'm glad I'm not rich. You might get soft being rich. You be soft. It makes you soft. It makes you weak. You get you get used to that comfort and get used to that uh, luxury. That'll make you soft. Say with your heart, your treasure. You know, that. Yeah. Your treasure is your heart. Your heart is. God damn, Where your heart is, there your treasure is also. You know, you, imagine if one of these rich niggas came to the truth, and then they losing their riches by fucking like crazy, just losing their riches. They go, they, and, and they at camp too. They, they go, you think they gonna continue camp? They gonna stop and go, oh, shit, I gotta make sure this shit good, that good. Oh, oh shit, that bug is attacking me. Satan bug. Nah, what's that? Your boy James. Back to your boy James. He said, ever since he started hanging out with us and listening to us, he said, I've been catching all kind of hell. I'm like, man. Working, but yeah, that means you're doing the right thing. But he took it as he was doing the wrong thing. Show me this. Show me the scripture that said, if you follow the Lord, that everything going to be uh, happy and peaceful for you. You know what I mean? That's that prosperity, prosperity doctrine shit. You might as well go follow Joe Osteen with that shit. He said, I've been catching. That's exactly what he said. People, I've been catching all kind of hell. <laughs> and he took that as like he was doing something wrong. The Lord going to jack us up. He hit jack us up more than these fools. Yeah, getting tried in that fire. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're singing. He's like, yeah. That shows the Lord, the Lord loves you. What the fuck? Like, if you like, you got kids, you ain't gonna let them do, I mean, if you truly love them, you gonna not let them do whatever the fuck they want. They do something, you see them hanging out with the wrong crowd, you just gonna let them go the like, A lot of parents do. They, just let, they run the streets. They let the kids run the streets. Now that nigga a drug dealer, now he got blasted. That's all your fault. You know what I'm saying? You really ain't disciplined. You know your daughter's a poor. Legs up to every goddamn body because you ain't disciplined. That's what the Lord doing to us. The Lord disciplining, disciplining us. So we won't have to put up that good fight. Yes, sir. Psalm 94 and uh, 12 says, Blessed is the man who thou chastenest, O Yahweh, and teach him out of thy law, that thou mayest give him rest in the days of adversity. To the pit be big for the wicked. I, was, I didn't hear that. What did you read? I, I was reading. I was reading. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's uh, so 94 and uh, 12. Blessed is the man whom thou chastenest, O Yahweh, and teaching him out of thy law, that thou mayest give him rest from the days of adversity to the pit be big for the wicked. It's a blessing to him, the Lord chastening. So the Lord love you. He gonna he gonna he gonna mess with you, man. He gonna jack you. He gonna he gonna strengthen you. Hey, just like the old workout saying goes, 
Like when you lift, you know, back when you're working out and stuff, they got a saying that goes, pain is weakness leaving the body. You know what I'm saying? So through the suffering, we get strength. And there's a scripture on that. Through suffering, strength. I'm going to look that up. Let me get this first, though. Yeah, from suffering comes strength. That's how you build, that's how you get built up. It's like, like when you're working out, you're building up your muscles. First, you got to break them muscles down before they can get built up. It's like, like, remember the running shit? If you never, like, ran in your life, like, an hour shit, the first time you run, like, an hour or two, that shit would be terrible. You can be like, I ain't never doing this again. If you're doing it, for like a week or two, you're going to run fucking three miles with each. Now you're on autopilot. You know what I mean? This is a, a Matthew 3, and this is John the Baptist talking. Matthew 3 and 11. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire, Whew. whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. So, that's, a, that's a fire scripture. But the Lord going to baptize us with fire. What's the baptism of fire? That's that suffering. That's that catching hell. You're doing the work, you're going to catch hell. The Lord going to send you through them trials. See if you can pass some tests. Most people don't pass the test. They fail the test. What was that? Oh, I'm going to look at suffering. Do a word search on suffering. Having being a little chastened, they shall be greatly rewarded. But God proved them, talking about the righteous, found them worthy for himself, as gold is in the furnace, has surprised them, and received them as a burnt offering. That's that sacrifice. I mean, here's this 1 Peter 4 and 13. But rejoice in so much as ye are partakers of Yahweh Shai's sufferings. And we're partakers of his sufferings. That's why I said you got to bear that cross. He, he took up his cross, so you got to take up your cross. He went first. You know what I mean? He went first. He, he led the way. He showed us the way. But rejoice in so much as ye are partakers of Yahweh Shai's sufferings that when his glory shall be revealed, you may be glad also with exceeding joy. What's that other scripture too? Uh, when he said, ye indeed are gonna drink of the same cup you drink of. He said, you also gonna drink this cup. And be baptized with this baptism or something like that. You got something? Yeah, I'm about to say, uh, uh, like, you watch a movie or show, especially like anime, you do that shit a lot. Uh, character at, my, at first might be trash as fuck, getting his ass beat all the goddamn time, but then he goes through trials and tribulations, he goes through this fight, that fight, and every, each time he get better and better, and at the last, he's gonna turn into a fucking a new transformation, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like, a, they gonna, he's, he gonna, uh, he gonna get a new body. Going like 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 Dragon Ball Z, they, they transform into a fucking Super Saiyan. But he had to go through all that shit to 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 escalate to that, to, that, to, that, to perfection. Yeah, he had to suffer. That shit, that shit, he had to that to actually achieve that shit. And then with us, we we in the Lord's little story, we gotta suffer until we get that glory, that new body, that new, that new transformation.
I mean, just when we we'll be out here, the more you teach, obviously the wiser you get. You know what I'm saying? If we, every time we come out here teaching, we learn something new just being out here teaching. We get stronger. Each day we come out here teach. Oh, that's another thing. That's something we always say. You don't really start learning. You think you know the truth until you start teaching. That's when you really... That's when you really start learning, is when you start teaching. When you really think about it. Because you're going to learn stuff out here, you're going to learn spiritual things out here that you can't learn on your computer. You can't, you can't learn that on YouTube. Yeah, just... So if you really want to learn, you're going to teach. Hey, it's good. That's a good analogy, though. Yeah. But uh, it's just like, you think you're a good boxer or whatever, you think you, you hit the pads right, you know what I'm saying? Hit the, the, the uh, what's it called? The fucking uh, heavy bag right. You get in that ring, it's a totally different story. You know oh, yeah. That, that's you get tested, you get tried. All right, yeah, it's like being on YouTube. You can battle people on YouTube comic boards. That's like sparring. You're not really in there with them. You got it, because on YouTube comic boards, you got to, uh, time to think about what you're going to type oh you can edit your comment you can be but when you're in real life talking to somebody you ain't got time to think you gotta be snap snap like that you know what i mean you gotta be on your toes you gotta be on your toes you gotta be ready to give an answer to any any kind of madness they're gonna come with because believe me they're gonna come with some madness that somebody gonna come up here and say some crazy some crazy and you gotta have an answer for it you gotta be able to answer every question. <coughs> yeah, you gotta be able to prove all things. Cause you're gonna come up here, people, they're gonna test your faith. Or try to test your faith. They're gonna try to test your knowledge and see what you know. You know how Jake is, they think everything's competition. That's fun though, we enjoy that. Cause we ain't, we undefeated out here. So yeah, how was shot undefeated? Yeah, he gave us his spirit. What is that? Did no mouth be able to gainsay or resist? They know when the truth come out, ain't nobody got nothing to say. They get, everybody gets shut down. Can't nobody come up against this truth. Man. Let's check this scripture out. All right, I'm gonna start at Hebrews uh, two. And nine, but we see Yahweh Shai, not Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angels for sufferings and death. See, it, for the sufferings of death. Crown with, because he's he's more powerful than the angel, obviously. But he was made just like one of us. Like, but he still had power when he's on the earth. But he came in the flesh as a as a human for the sufferings of death. And he died just like we would die. And then the Lord ro rose him from the dead. But we see Yahweh Shai, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor that he by the grace of the Most High should taste death for every man. For it became him for, for whom are all things and by whom are all things and bringing many sons unto glory to make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings. See? That right you you get become perfect through sufferings. Yahweh Shai became perfect through his sufferings. The, he got put to death. And then the Lord, he rose him from the dead. And he became perfected. And he was perfect. He is per is perfect. I said was. For both he that sanctifieth and they who are sanctified are all of one. For which cause he is not ashamed to call them brethren. Ooh. Saying, oh man, this is fire. Saying, I would declare thy name unto my brethren in the midst of the church while I sing praise unto thee. Say, we're going to declare his name in the, in the midst of our brethren. And the Lord's name is Yahweh Shah. The Lord's name is not Jesus. Okay, the Messiah was a Hebrew Israelite that spoke Hebrew. 
So when you say in your prayers, the, the Lord ain't hearing you when you're calling on that name Jesus. Okay? You got to call on that name Yahweh Shai. Especially after we told you. Uh, saying, I will declare thy name unto the, my brethren in the midst of the church while I sing praise unto thee. And again, I will put my trust in him. And again, behold, I and the children which the Most High have give, given me. For so much, and as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that have the power of death, that is the devil, and deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. Ah, right here. And, uh, for verily he took not on him the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham. Oh, the seed of Abraham. The seed, the sperm of Abraham. Meaning, Mary is not a virgin. He comes from the seed of Abraham. <laughs> That's your trash. Uh, Mary, well, I said Mary trash. But, uh, How you said Mary trash? So. See, but she's not as important. Yeah. Trying to put on the goddamn pedestal and shit. Yeah, right. We ain't out here worshiping Mary, bro. That's not in the scriptures. People are talking about Mary is a virgin. Mary wasn't no virgin. Y'all Christians is bugged out. Yeah, Joseph, it says his father. Is this not Yahweh Shai, son of Joseph? First Peter 4, 12, beloved, think it not strange concerning the fire of the trial, which is to try you. And some strange thing happened to you. Rejoicing as much as you are partaking in Yahweh Shai's suffering. Oh, there it is again. We are, uh, where's that? Where's that? I did this. That's a good one. Read it again. That's the spirit. The spirit. You just don't fight the spirit. You got to go with it. So if you're rejoicing as much as you are partakers of the Messiah's suffering. Say, we're partakers of the Messiah's of Yahweh Shai. We're partakers of his suffering. But what was his suffering? He got crucified. It is the people denied him. They got crucified. And Pontius Pilate said, what? Well, you going to have me crucify your king? Then his own people said, crucify him. We have no king but Caesar. You know what I'm saying? Our people are traitors. Our, you know what I mean? They're no good. Ugh. It says, uh, when his voice shall be good, you may be glad also in this season of glory. Right, well, I'll, yeah, when his glory revealed, hold on. When he's revealed, he's going to be coming out of the heavens with the angels, with them ships, and them chariots. Damn, we're going to be exceedingly glad on that day. Is there more to that? I can't do that. Says, and if you be reproached for the name of Yahweh, happy are ye. If you are reproached for the name of Yahweh Shai, the Messiah, they do that all the time. Come up running. Oh, y'all teach, teach him wrong. Y'all y'all teach him bullshit. Go ahead. Happy are ye, for the spirit of the glory and of God rested upon you. On their part he is neither spoken of, but on your part he is glorified. Right, so really, hey, you see that? So really when people come against us, really, it, that's glorifying the Lord. That's showing his power right there. He told you people's gonna come against you. So don't think you can go out teaching it and uh, everybody gonna love you. You're gonna wake up everybody. <laughs> So, so they did the same thing to the prophets. Probably, what? Uh, Stephen said that what prophet was not persecuted. Even Moses. So they try to they try to do a uh, what's that called? A, uh, they they try to do a mutiny on Moses. They, you know what I mean? They try to take. It's like, oh, I want to be. I want give me Moses's job. I do it better. They same shit. They thought they could do better than Moses. 
And they failed. They did they couldn't do better than Moses. They got swallowed up in the earth. We should get that scripture. It's like the people that they, they think they can do better than us. You can't do better than us. If you can't go do it. That's disrespectful. Yeah. No, that was a I don't know, he looked like a heathen. Walk by his heart. You can just see the evil spirits jumping off these people. And they think they're normal. They actually think they don't even have spirits on them. That's what a spirit. That's the thing about demons. You don't know they're on you. <laughs> you're not doing, you know what I'm saying? You're not in the truth, bro. You got all kind of demons on you. You can just see the demons on these people. They're not even humans. Y'all are not humans. You're demons. You're not a human. Especially the woman. I mean, she, she looked good. That's just that flesh that looks good. Only the flesh looks good. Peep underneath that flesh, see what you see. Worms and maggots, bro. That's what you got. That's the, that's the worst part of it. You see a beautiful woman. She's just beautiful on the outside, bro. Ugly as hell. Her personality, her spirit is ugly as hell. Trash. Darkness is darkening. Darkening for faith. Without different consequences. Hey, you can, you can find a girl that might might be a six or five, whatever. And then she, she, you know, she's smack or whatever. You know, whatever. But she have a beautiful personality. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, give me that. Bitch, she be ten. She's a bitch. And then he might hit it. She hate her. Even the ugly bitches are demons. They're all demons. They 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 lower level. Something. Yeah. Something like. Yeah, you're right, though, Cause when you get one of them tens, they they think they uh God's gift to mankind. Sometimes be ten. You just don't know, man. That's that Proverbs 30 and uh, what is that? Is that 30, 30 or 30? That's that 30 or 30, 30 and 31. Oh, that's 31. Is it? Oh, Proverbs 31 and 10. Who could find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies? <laughs> right, so you lucky if you got a 10 piece, a dime piece, a, a dame, a, you know? If you got a good looking woman and she cool as hell, that's a gift from the Lord. Unless what, one day she's just gonna transform on your ass. Well, really, yeah, she, she gonna leave you. That shit lasts a minute, dude. I'm talking foolish out here now. <laughs> How many people you know that have been with their woman for 20 plus years? Bro, my dad was with my mom for 20 years plus. Guess what happened? It didn't last. It did not last. There ain't no kind of loyalty. That's the spirit out here. There's no loyalty. No nothing, bro. These people is trash out here. And it's always the woman's fault every time. Huh? Well, you know what I'm saying. That's just saying that to piss people off. Right, because a lot of men, they, you're right, they, they treat the woman like shit. Cause you, they don't show the woman attention. You, If you got a woman, I'm sorry, you got to show her attention. Yep, that's true. She should have known that nigga ain't no good. She gonna treat, he gonna treat her wrong. And then, that's your fault, bitch. See, it's the bad. There's one bitch in my job. She, she like an eight, I said. And I guess her boyfriend did something to her. And all of a sudden, she's a lesbian now. Like, bitch, that's your fault. That's why women say all men are the same. But how do you know when you try them all? 
Yeah. Yeah, these women have been with way too many men. Period. They've literally been with way too many men. You're only supposed to be a, a woman's only supposed to be a one man her whole life, man. I'm talking about these women. How you say whore? Look up whore in Hebrew. We should know that. We had that memorized, I forgot it. That's what we're gonna start calling them. I got my phone. I'm gonna tell you this. I got my phone. I even forget I got my phone. I was used to doing a video with it. Hey, get that. Hey, since we talking about a woman. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll look that up. Look up Amos 7 and 17. Well, we'll talk about the woman a little bit. We switch gears a little bit. Yeah, because that make you mad, man. You see these fine-ass women. They're they beautiful on the outside, but they're goddamn demons on the inside. That should break your heart, man. <laughs> make you want to cry. <sighs> what you got? Read that. Now this is a prophecy. It said, "Therefore, that wife shall be a harlot in the city." What's a harlot? A harlot's a whore, a, a hoe, a thot, and that's what you see out here. The Lord said, "All our women's all gonna be whores," and that came to pass. You gonna tell me the Bible's not true? Now read that again. But a Hebrew word for a harlot, and that is a whore, a harlot, is zana. Z is Z N H, zana. Which means to commit fornication, be a harlot, play the harlot, to commit adultery, uh, be a cult prostitute. How do you use the pores? How would you say the plural form in that? Zanayim? Nah. Hey, Zana! I won't call you Mr. Zana. Let me look up another word for whore. I'm going to just type in whore. Zana, oh my god. Yo, whores, you filthy whores. <laughs> I'm going to look up another, because uh, look, there's another scripture too that I want to read real quick. Which is uh, Deuteronomy uh, 23 and 17. Deuteronomy 23 and 17 says, There shall be no whores of the daughters of Israel, nor sodomite of the sons of Israel. And sodomite, that's a homosexual. So this, this is talking against whores and homosexuals. And what do you have out here in America? Nothing but goddamn whores and homosexuals. That's all you see. Am I lying? not lying. That's all there is out here. These women ain't nothing but goddamn whores. Tell me I'm lying. You know it's the truth. Come on, oh my God. You know that shit's true. Deuteronomy 23, 17. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor sodomite of the sons of Israel. I'm going to look up this word for whore. See, I knew it would be a different word. The word for whore right here is a kodasha. Oh, that's the female prostitute. They have the uh, so the female version of the sodomite. That's really talking about the women that be up in the temples having orgies. They still do that today. I heard Columbus. I was watching Joe Rogan, and Joe Rogan said like he knew. They, he said Columbus is one of the top swinger states in the. No, Columbus is one of the top swinger cities in the nation. Man, they got these clubs where you just go swinger. You know what a swinger is, right? Everybody switches husband and wife, and they have giant orgies. They be doing all kind of freak shit out here. 
So Kodasha, that's a different type of where I go with Zanad to call these hoes. A Harlem. That's a nod. Sitting Zanaz. Yeah, they just visited last night, you know that dumbass thing was coming through. That was the Super Bowl? Yeah. You watch that shit? Yeah, I watch that shit too. I had to see it. Oh, the whores, that's I'm sorry, the halftime. Whores. My fault, go ahead. It was alright. I just hate I just, that shit boring. Just, that shit boring. Anyways, it is boring. What what my dad just said like to uh, some somebody's house. People ain't know. And we was out in the porch and shit. And me and my cousin were sitting there talking. And the white people like, like I, I told my dad like, I hit him now. He told her, like, yeah, yeah, my son said she hit him. And then my cousin he was like, yeah. I heard it too, and it's like, it sounded like he really wanted to like take turns to that shot. Like, what the hell? Like, I'm sorry. And she was, and she was down with the shot, so I don't care. Yeah, that's gay, bro. I was just talking to somebody about that. They said, uh, this dude was talking about how he was, uh, how he was hitting a bitch from behind and his friend, and she was sucking. You know, she had a dude on each end, and they were sharing a bitch. And I told him, that's, that's fucking gay. He's like, nah, that's porn star shit, bub. I was like, no, that's faggot shit. You know what I mean? You send a naked dude right in front of you. That's gay. And a lot of these people do that. A lot of y'all got the spirit of sodomites on y'all. Oh, they're sharing women. That's disgusting. Like, I both got two straws and at the same time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you walk into the store and restaurant, you see two niggas with two straws, both sucking out of the juice. They're like, oh, they gay. That's gay as fuck. Y'all gay. Okay. You're gonna have your own little straw out and shit. Y'all both fucking at the same time. That shit's weird gay as fuck. Get out of here. Let a woman go down the line blowing everybody. Like the same way everybody next. Taking turns with women. If I knew one of my friends had been with a woman, I would never touch her. Ever. Send a message to a woman on one of date naps or whatever. Just think how many, just think of how many uh, messages she got in her inbox. You know what I'm saying? Unlimited. Right, that's why if a woman doesn't text you back within an hour, you just need to just ignore. Good look. If a woman doesn't text you back within like an hour or something, you know she's playing games with you. Because a woman is attached to her phone 24-7. She can't be separated from it. She's on that motherfucker constantly. She got your message and she ignored you. Trust me. You're being ignored. Yeah. These women, their inboxes is full. Check out a bitch as a messenger, you know, whatever. Their inbox is full. Bunch of thirsty ass dudes all trying to get up in there. Fighting for that same plus filled hole. Yeah, social media is the worst thing to ever. You thought a, a woman was bad, and they got even worse. They got even worse with all these social social media apps. 
Now our women got too many options. They got way too many options. And you, you, you're never option number one. Now option number one for a woman is a drug dealer. The guy, you know what I mean, the biggest piece of shit on the planet Earth. That's what these women, that's what they're attracted to. They said that old lady, she was wearing, uh, she had her fringes with a ribbon of blue. You see her? Yeah. She was wearing, yeah. I don't think that was a coincidence. She probably with Nate and them. She probably scoffs like that. <laughs> she didn't say nothing to us, so she probably. At least she didn't try to come against us. The woman knew her place. Usually, when a, a woman knows she's an Israelite, she know you know she'll come up and, oh, what y'all doing? And then they'll try to teach us. That's another thing too, man. You can't be telling your woman too much. She'll try to teach you. He's all how you doing? Uh, Esau is a naturally born pedophile. Yeah. Yeah, it's a uh, survival. 42 and uh, 14. Better is the curliness. Damn. Tra tra damn. What the hell is that? What is that? What is it? Cur the curlishness. Curlishness. Curl I'm looking that up, bro. Can we look it up? Yeah. I ain't bring that big ass dictionary here for nothing. I got, I got two words too. That and courteous. I know you're trying to make a word. Yes, sir. What the hell? Is this a dictionary? Yeah, look at that. Woo! Start howling. Disgusting person. Like she probably just. Right, she's an evil person. They're only beautiful on the outside. Wow, you better off getting a retarded bitch. <laughs> hey, some of y'all probably into that. Says, what is the courteousness of a man than a courteous woman? A woman, I say, was bringing shame and shame of approach. Like you said, women, they all on social media. The bitch is always courteous, always talking to everybody. She can have a man, she's looking dead in your eyes and shit. She always talking to other men and shit. Like, bitch, keep to yourself. Man, I'm saying that works in A woman always wants change. She can't be happy with what she got. That's why a woman always rearranging the goddamn furniture. She, she'll buy a couch. She's tired of it a month. She throws it out and gets a new couch. Hair blue one week, next yeah. week. She ain't never satisfied. She got no hair and then she goes back out Yeah, bitch, like I know you did not have you grow your hair six feet long in two weeks. Last week you had an afro, now you got long blonde hair. Get <laughs> the fuck out of here. You see the bitch's real hair, she got a fade. <laughs> My girl had a fade. She look good with the like that. That's messed up. These women can't grow hair, man. The Judai woman can't grow hair. He's looking at churlishness. C H U R. How you spell that? C H U R. We're going to read that scripture again. C H. Oh, I found it. Oh, churlish. It means. Uh, read that scripture again. It's better the churliness of a man than a courteous woman. Better the curlishness of a man than a shameful ass woman, pretty much. Well, let's listen to this. this is what curlish means. What curly means. It says a rude, boorish person. Hey, we're rude. They say we're rude. A, a rude, boorish person. A miser. A niggard. It actually says that right here. I'm just reading the dictionary. A medieval English peasant. English churl, curl, man, husband. Old English. Curl, man, a free man of the lowest rank. It means boorish, vulgar, difficult to work, intractable. 
I, I learned some. I didn't know that. I never heard of that word. Courteous? Well, I know courteous. What scripture is that? Is that the same scripture? Yeah. Read that again. Better the trillionness of a man than Oh, man, they're going to give us copyright violation. So, uh, than, uh, than a courteous woman. A woman, I say, you bring a shame to the coach. Damn, video getting flagged now. That's some bullshit. So, I read that again. This shit just pissed me off. Better is the courteous of a man than a courteous woman, a woman that's saying which which supreme shame of approach. Courteous. Courtesy. We come from the Latin. You alright? It's Latin. Well, it says courteous. Courteous. Polite behavior. Courteous, right? What is this courteous? Uh, characterized by graciousness, considerate towards others, to be polite, having manners befitting a courtly gentleman from old French, from court. That's where the word court. That show uh, kindness towards people? Fuck out of here. They're going to say we're not courteous. Actually, we really the kind of people. We out here giving them the truth. Oh, my dictionary is not good enough for me. That is a fire dictionary, though. That's fire. If you got a wife, you can't let her. She's she not. If, if I got a wife, she ain't gonna lie to have no Facebook. Hell no. Because if your wife has a Facebook, you don't have a wife. I'm sorry. Simple. She go. She already, She got her inboxes full. I don't care how ugly she is. She could be 300 pounds with uh <laughs> with syphilis in her eye. You know what I mean? Her inbox still gonna be full. Gonna be full. She can't get back to everybody. She got options. And the men's inboxes all be empty. <laughs> it's only outputs she got output for her. Yeah, yeah. It takes a bit for her. There's no inbox, no outbox for her. Your message is all staying on red. And you'll see it too. It's a scene. I don't play with a woman. If a woman, if, if, if I think she's taking too long, I just, I don't, I just let it go. There's plenty of them, other ones out there. The hell these women. Don't waste your time. <laughs> so that's her option number three. Well, yeah, usually you see a woman walking down the street with a dude. She's walking down the street with her option number five. <laughs> this woman ain't right, man. Five twenty-six and eight it says, uh, "Drunken woman in the gather of rock." Oh, a drunken woman! Look at all these drunk ass hoes out here, man. These women out here, they they beyond drunk. They they getting high on oxys. They got the oxys. They got the perks. They got the molly. You know what I'm saying? They getting all kind of all kind of messed up out here. A bunch of drug addicts and alcoholics, bro. Ain't nobody trying to be around that. Friends, friend, girl, I used to be a hell of a bar. Bar her breakfast. The bitch was drunk. And she went to, we went to the store and shit. She went inside, whatever, and she talking shit to niggas. Like, why are you not taking to this? Something about somebody sucking dick or shit. She was loud. Like, yeah. I know a dude was embarrassed as fuck. Plus, when a woman gets drunk, that she'll let the whole neighborhood run the train on her. Facts. That's facts. Everybody knows you get one of these women drunk, it's over. Do whatever you want. Do whatever you want with it. Yeah, shit. You don't ain't gotta be drunk to do that. 
When she get drunk, it's even worse. Shouldn't up, you know what I mean? Doing the whole damn neighborhood. A woman shouldn't even be allowed to drink alcohol. That's not worse than a woman to drinking, doing drugs, smoking cigarettes. It says zero verses found. Oh, no wonder it's 20. Damn, I got a concordance for that. I have to look it up in my dictionary. I was thinking about programming an apographer. You know how much work that would be? I should do that. Make it concordance. Yeah. You got a concordance on that one? Yeah, I, got a I got a dictionary. I want to see what gatter means. Huh? That's why we need a concordance for the apocrypha to look up the Greek words. You know what I mean? It pisses me off when you can't do that. It probably, I bet it's one you can buy. That'd be a lot of work right there. Jeez. A gatter. You got that dictionary looking up words. Y'all don't know what no words mean out here. Ooh, Gaelic, what's a Gaelic? Oh, I just seen that. Israelites, Israelites. I've been heavy into the Gaelic lately. Shit, I'm about to start speaking Gaelic out of some bitch. They say Gaelic's very similar to Hebrew. Uh, where was we looking for? Gatter? A gatter abroad, these hoes and some gatters. They be gathering. <laughs> Hey, y'all gathered, y'all gathering the Nas out here. How would you say the plural is the Nas? It would be the Nawak. It would be the Nawak. It would be feminine, right? Gathered. I still can't find it because I'm slow. Man, this is old. This is old school, bro. Get out here with your technology. I do not see it, unless I'm tripping. <laughs> it's not in here, is it? A gaggle. <laughs> I was looking up gatter. A gaggle. <laughs> Talking about the woman that gaggling. What's a gaggle? I'm tripping, bro. Tribe of Gad. That's a gatter is not in here. That's that old school word, bro. You gotta get the unabridged dictionary for that one. Oh no, here's it. A gad. Oh, a gad is to roam about or ramble restlessly or excitedly. Use about or around. This is one. They run around. Excited. A gad or abroad. That makes sense. They run. They wandering around restlessly or excitedly. Okay, that makes sense. That that's actually probably a Hebrew. I bet that does come from the Hebrew word gather, true? To assemble. Because they're gathered to assemble. Who knows? Ah. There's a queen for you. Probably seven and eleven. She is loud and stubborn. <laughs> She is loud and stubborn. That's talking about the Israelite woman. The, the Israelite woman, she's loud and stubborn. Bro, tell me this ain't talking about these women. Read that again. Bro, tell me. She's loud and stubborn. Feet of bite not in her house. They're going everywhere, everybody's house but your house. 
You went to your best friend's house, your cousin's house. Now she was without, now in the streets, laughing, waiting at every corner. Oh, that's how they do it. Didn't they? They, they get all surprised. Now they messed up. Because it starts off where they just get high and drunk and they just playing the whore a little bit here and there. Next thing you know, they on the streets, hooked on meth, selling themselves on the street. That's everywhere. Right there, I've never seen more prostitutes in my life than in the past couple of years. They're everywhere, like roaches. Everyday one. Are they all prostitutes? Bro, they be all over the uh, social media. Women got their premium Snapchats now. That's the new. That's the new hustle for the woman. They got the premium Snapchat. They send you uh, uh nudes and stuff. You know what I mean? Send, selling new folks. Some simp out there. All these simps out here. They go. They gonna pay money for them nudes. Over here supporting these hoes. That's disgusting. To my cash at me. Ain't cash at me. Bro, I would never, ever, ever. Bro, I, I'm not even paying for your meal. I ain't definitely going to cash at me. But these men out here, they simps, though. And they fall into, oh, what's that scripture? Go for a whore is a deep ditch. And if <laughs> there's something about uh She's like a bear trap, bro. You get caught in that bear trap, it's taking your leg and everything. You're getting infected. It's, it's, you threw, you threw after that. You gotta be smart, man. Especially these young men. You gotta be smart when dealing with these women. I didn't shit about a dog, though. Yeah, we're gonna say Shalom, camera about a dog. Shalom.